How many times have you heard the expression, good ideas don't require force? If it's an idea that requires force, therefore, it's a bad idea. That's pretty much the meaning of it. Uh, people on the libertarian right, the anarcho-capitalist right, um, you know, it, it, they, they say this shit all the fucking time. <laughs> you know, it's like, but I'm not sure if they understand that their system, anarcho-capitalism or far-right libertarianism, still requires force. It forces people to respect private property rights, even though they may not agree with private property rights. Maybe they just agree with personal property rights. Um, you know, because socialist communists, they were, were not looking to seize toothbrushes or used underwear. Um, gross. <laughs> but, you know, it's just the idea that the means of production are privately held by capitalist interest or private interest. And then that's, that's the thing that socialists and communists you know, tend to be against. Pretty, pretty hardcore. Um, well, some more than others. But anyway... The, this ANCAPR or libertarian right wing system would still require the promise of threat of force if you do not respect private property rights. You have to do it whether you do, whether, I mean, it's, it's what they want. You have to respect it no matter what, even if you don't agree with it or, cons or consent to agree with it. These anarcho capitalist libertarian fucks, you know, they, they also go on about consent. Consent is so important. Consent is the end-all, be-all. And then, well, what if I don't consent to your private property rights? You know, you know what they're going to say? They're going to tell me or someone else who disagrees with private property rights to fuck off. You have to do it. Your consent isn't required for this. But, but strangely enough, for things that they want, <laughs> they just magically get it. But for anything else, more than that, it's communist tyranny. It's really fucking screwy. It, it's just, sorry, sorry, ANCAPers or libertarians right-wing libertarians, your system is still going to require the threat of promise of force, which was still force. <laughs> because there are many different kinds of force and coercion, but, you know, it, it's, it's just still going to be required. So whenever I hear some NCAPI go off about coercion, and probably, you know, it, it just makes me laugh. Like, dude, this shit requires force too. And they try to get you with some sort of... Um, hyperbolic or some sort of extreme example oh so do you think a rapist don't have the right to to rape or whatever and it's like it's just because we may agree on some things like yeah rape should be illegal it should be outlawed doesn't mean we're going to agree on everything so of course they want to try to run to the most extreme example and i'm not even being extreme here these 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 jokers i was like you're just still going to require force because if these rights don't have any threat of force behind them they're no longer rights that's, that's the really important part. They're no longer rights. They're just platitudes. It's like you have a right, but if it gets violated, there's no really, really any way to enforce it. It's just, it's just lip service. It's ridiculous. So, anywho, let me know what you think down below in the comments section, whether you agree or disagree, or maybe there's some nuance here that I overlooked. Uh, I'm more than happy to have any sort of conversation with you. If you're a libertarian right wing or you're an anarcho-capitalist, whatever. Um, and I'll see you all around.